All right, guys, let's do our first project. It's not gonna be an exciting one, but I thought I'd start small and we'll add up, because I haven't gotten a lot of things unpacked yet. But there's been one I've been meaning to do that uh, I could have used when I first started off. And, uh, a lot of us start and we find these hoof nippers and they look like tongs, we call them tongs. And, and uh, actually they don't work horrible for railroad spikes because you can get the, the thing in here. But the point is, I mean, you can find these for pennies at auctions. And there's no reason that you couldn't turn these things into a, a set of working tongs. So, so can we bring them back together, turn them into a set of flat tongs, which then you could turn into round tongs or something like that. That's the, that's the project. Guys, flattened out. So, a little heat on them. Flat. Just a quick set of tongs. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to do that without removing the roof. All right. So here's what we ended up with. Now, this stuff is just way off to the side. So I'm gonna try, I'm not, I'm not gonna like doing it, but I'm just gonna try to just bring these guys together. Let's see what happens. But again, I really hate hammering out with that rivet top, but we'll see what happens. I think I'm just gonna shear those rivets right off in there. Ouch. New pair of gloves for this shot, but I can't find them. I'm gonna have to just shock them off. I need too much. All right, so what I wanna try to do here is just see if we can just pull these uh, reins apart. I don't know if we can get away with that or not, but we're going to try it. So we got that sucker squeezing in there. Hopefully I can get... Okay, just pull them back to the other side. Toast. Yeah, they're moving. They're moving right around the rivet, which I'm not disappointed in. A little torque on something. So I wanted a set of just plain flat, flat jaws that I can throw, throw a little bit more pressure on and not worry about breaking. That was the objective. All right, let's just see what we can kind of clean these things up a little bit. They're all wobbly and wiggly. Just for vanity's sake. All right, now what I am gonna try to do is set a piece of half inch round in there and see maybe if we can get a little indentation. They're almost not hot enough, but Cross in way there. Go very well. That gives it really good strength that way. So again, I I got a piece of eighth inch here. I really don't even want that much, but we'll set it for that. I'm okay with that, it looks pretty good. Just see what the overall appearance looks like. Got a little bit of a downhill roll there, but I don't know. Oh, I got this in it. Oh, why do I do that? Look at that toasted freaking skin. I spun that piece around and the hot spot was where I normally grab. That was stupid, Chandler. And there you have it. <clears throat> From the new old school forge. All right, set of, I think, very functional tongs out of nippers. Okay, like I said, these you can buy in a bucket, you know, pennies a piece, five dollars at the most. Um, and with just a, a few hammers, we had a pair of at least tong looking things. And we went a little step farther and tried you know, making it a little bit, a little bit more multifunctional. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your support. And um, we'll have much more coming. And I might call this the pink shirted blacksmith episode. <laughs> Ciao. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining, uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support. And it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more. I guarantee. Thanks for your support as always.